today in the Daily Dose. The Mayans. Considered the most dominant society in Mesoamerica, the Mayan civilization flourished in three separate sub-geographies. From 1800 BCE until 900 AD, concentrated in a larger geographical block that covered the Yucatan Peninsula, modern-day Guatemala and Belize, parts of Honduras and El Salvador, as well as parts of the Mexican states of Tabasco and Chiapas, which proved to be a geographic deterrent from outside invasion by other Mesoamerican tribes. Mayans spoke a solitary language during the pre-classic period or early years of Mayan history, although by the classic period or golden age of Maya, from 250 to 900 AD, a wide diversity of languages came into play, many of which are still spoken in modern-day Mexico and Central America by more than 5 million people. Employing a combination of primitive and complex agricultural techniques, from slash-and-burn land clearing to irrigation canals and terraced fields, archaeologists and historians believe the Mayans flourished and grew on a reliable diet of corn, beans, squash, and cassava, eventually developing some 40 major cities with a total population of 2 to 10 million people, including elaborate cities such as Tikal, Wexectum, Copan, Dos Pilas, and Rio Beck. Excavations have unearthed plazas, elegant palaces, temples, and pyramids, as well as athletic courts for playing the uniquely Mayan sport of Yulama, all the while worshipping to a variety of polytheistic gods who favored a hereditary succession of kings. The Mayans also contributed greatly to the advancement of mathematics and astronomy, including the use of zero in mathematics, while developing complex systems of calendars, such as the 365-day calendar round and the long count calendar that spanned some 5,000 years into the future. They also wrote books known as codices on paper made from tree bark, while being credited with some of the earliest uses of chocolate and rubber. They vanished abruptly around 900 AD, and while scholars have postulated theories such as overpopulation followed by a protracted period of drought, no one knows with any certainty why the Mayan Empire came to such a sudden end making the Mayan civilization an early front-runner in Mesoamerican history. And there you have it, the Mayans, today on The Daily Dose. Get your nerd on with The Daily Dose. And if you enjoyed today's episode, share the link with a friend or colleague so that they too can learn something new every day.